Item number SCP-6161 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-6161 is to be kept in a standard secure object locker in Site-55. It is unknown if this object's container has become an SCP-6161-1 instance, but this has been labeled acceptable. Personnel handling SCP-6161 are to only touch the object's hilt, avoiding the blade. Description SCP-6161 is a cake knife, measuring 23 centimeters in length and made of steel. When SCP-6161 is used to cut an object, it is capable of slicing through any material with ease. Objects cut by SCP-6161 were transformed into instances of SCP-6161-1. SCP-6161-1 instances will continue to exhibit baseline traits on their exterior, but their interiors consist entirely of cake. The cake within SCP-6161-1 have been reported to possess various different flavors. Addendum 6161-1 Test Log Test 1 Object Tested Bar of Steel Result SCP-6161 cut through the bar with ease. D-1221 was instructed to consume a slice of SCP-6161-1. The resulting flavor was reported as tasting earthy and metallic. Test 5. Object Tested. Car Wheel. Result. SCP-6161 cut through the wheel with ease. D-1221 was instructed to consume a slice of SCP-6161-1. Note, despite having a slice cut out of it, the wheel maintained its structural integrity and did not deflate. The resulting flavor was reported as tasting oily with a rubbery texture. Test 11. Object tested. Dr. Green's laptop. Result. SCP-6161 cut through the laptop with ease. D-1221 was instructed to consume a slice of the produced SCP-6161-1 instance. Note, despite being transformed into an SCP-6161-1 instance, the laptop continued to function until a slice was removed from it, at which point it shut down. The resulting flavor was reported as tasting like plastic with some crunchy bits. Test 17 Object tested, Dr. Green's birthday cake. Result, SCP-6161 cut through the cake with ease. D-1221 was instructed to consume a slice of SCP-6161-1. D-1221 refused upon viewing the sliced cake, which had turned to gravel and stone. No flavored test results were gathered. Test, not applicable. Object tested, not applicable. Result, Dr. Green attempted to handle SCP-6161 for the next test, but accidentally pricked his finger with the blade. Upon seeking first aid, it was discovered that SCP-6161 had not damaged Dr. Green, but had affected him with its anomalous properties. Dr. Green was immediately labeled an instance of SCP-6161-1. Note, x-rays performed after the transformation confirmed that Dr. Green's insides are entirely composed of cake. It is unknown how he is able to retain life functions in this state. The resulting flavor was reported as tasting almost like pork. Further testing with SCP-6161 has been restricted.